The moment has come for our nation to deal with systemic racism. What exactly is systemic racism or institutional racism? Individual racism is obvious. Systemic racism, however, is far more subtle, and it originates in the operation of established and respected forces in the society and thus receives far less public condemnation. Systemic racism is when black and brown citizens are kept trapped in lower society by privileged elitists in order to maintain power by creating a permanent second class of people. Systemic racism is the 1994 crime bill. Biden's 1994 crime bill helped fuel mass incarceration with financial incentives to keep people behind bars. Biden's record in the Senate actually reflects very racist legislation. Biden has made it a death penalty offense for everything but jaywalk. I like the idea they keep in jail longer. I'm the guy that wrote the bill. Systemic racism is knowing full well that people trapped in poverty cannot afford lawyers to fight back against false allegations. It doesn't matter whether or not they were deprived as a youth. It doesn't matter or not whether or not they had no background that enabled them to become socialized into the fabric of society. It's breaking up families and creating entire generations of fatherless children. The founder of Planned Parenthood was a eugenicist. Birth control, said Margaret Sanger, must lead ultimately to a cleaner race. We don't want the word to get out, Sanger said, that we want to exterminate the Negro population. It doesn't matter whether or not they're the victims of society. The end result is they're about to knock my mother on the head with a lead pipe, shoot my sister, beat up my wife. Instead of building back better, systemic racism is deeming a community as an unfit, unsocialized group of people who cannot be rehabilitated. We don't very well know how to rehabilitate them at that point. That's the sad truth. We have predators on our streets. They are beyond the pale, many of those people. Beyond the pale. We have no choice but to take them out of society. Systemic racism is when you deprive generations of children from a quality education. If I'm president, Betsy DeVos's whole notion from charter schools to this are gone. It's when your own running mate calls you out for supporting institutional racism. I was actually very, it was hurtful to hear you talk about the reputations of two United States senators who built their reputations and career on the segregation of race in this country. Biden sought and received support from Mississippi Senator James Eastland. He frequently spoke of blacks as, quote, an inferior race. And it was not only that, but you also worked with them to oppose busing. Uh, do you think that his remarks about center segregation as senators and his past policy on busing effectively disqualify him as a candidate. I, I think the voters will decide whether he is qualified um, to run or serve. Systemic racism is when you are a vice president to the first black president and preserved the unjust system. The Black Lives Matter movement emerged under a black president, black attorney general, and black homeland security, and they couldn't deliver. You see? You know, I'm like the token black. I learned about roaches. Unlike the African American community, the Latino community is an incredibly diverse community. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. They're going to put you all back in chains. Joe Biden can't change the system. He is the system. But President Trump has begun to dismantle Joe Biden's systemically racist 47-year career. He signed criminal justice reform into law, increased and secured permanent funding for historically black colleges and universities. He fights for school choice, and President Trump took the lead on police reform last year. All of the issues that President Obama neglected and the policies that Biden could have changed in nearly a half a century in Washington. America's ready of rooting out our systemic racism. We agree, Joe. That's why you have to go. Systematic racism ends when Joe Biden is retired from public office. You ain't black. You ain't black.